Number 78. Many chemistry conferences have held a 50 trillion angstrom run to significant figures. How long is this run in kilometers and in miles? And they give us a conversion of one angstrom equals one times 10 to the negative 10th meters. So it looks like we're going to be doing two specific conversions here. We first have to know how long this is in kilometers, and then we have to know how long this is in meters. So the first thing is, is let's break down this 50 trillion angstrom run. So let's just put this into an actual number. So 50 trillion is the same thing as saying 50 with now all those zeros at the end. So let's just make the zeros and let's see. I think we got to keep going now. Um, yes, this one is correct. Now, how do I know this is because these are the thousands area, right? So I'll just say TH. This is the millions area. So M-I-L-L. -L. This bracket is the billions, B-I-L-L. -L. And finally, this is the trillion bracket. And these will say these are like the hundreds, the ones, etc. So you guys should know that flow. So this, we're actually talking about a 50 and then three, uh, four, you know, brackets of three zeros. So just know your trend from hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, and trillions. So, so <clears throat> excuse me, let's just put this into scientific notation. So my zero or my decimal is all the way over here. So how many bunny hops do we have to get to right here, right? So let's find out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then my decimal goes here. So this would be 5.0 times 10 to the 13th angstrom. And angstrom is like what we used to use in high school, especially for me, when we had to say like angel. <laughs> we use this like little a, but it's really an angstrom. Put, put a comment down in below if you, if you know what I'm talking about or if I'm just crazy. <laughs> okay, anyway. So we have 5.0 times 10 to the 13 angstroms, and we have to convert it into kilometer and in miles. But they give me this conversion right here. One angstrom is one times 10 to the negative 10th meters. So that's going to be my first conversion, right? Now here, if I have 5.0 times 10 to the 13th angstrom, whoop, I can go to meter, and then it seems like I could go to kilometer first. So this would be like a two-part question. So let's figure that one out first. So 5.0 times 10 to the 13th, always start with what you're given, angstroms, times by a ratio. We put angstrom on the opposite side and the unit that we want on the top. You guys should know this by now, right? If, you, if, you, if this is the first video that you're doing with conversions, go back. There's like tens of questions tens of 20 questions with just conversions. So if you need a more in-depth explanation, go find those beginner ones. But anyway, we have one angstrom equals one times 10 to the negative 10th meters. So one angstrom equals one times 10 to the negative 10th meters. The angstroms will now cancel. So that's the answer to my first part. But now we got to keep moving. We got to go to kilometers. So times by a ratio, meter on the bottom, kilometer up top. And if you've noticed, I wasn't so nice. I didn't include the SI unit conversions. You guys got to memorize those. So SI units. Do you guys remember what it is? If you do, go, go, go for it. But I'm just going to put it here. Just know that you could say that there's a thousand meters equals one kilometer, or it's the same thing as saying 10 to the third meters equals one kilometer. But either way, remember one of them. I like to use the top one. A thousand meters equals one kilometer. So I will say a thousand meters equals one kilometer. And the meters cancel out. And now we have the answer to kilometer because that's the only unit that's left. So I'm going to multiply the top. So I got five times 10 to the 13th times one times 10 to the negative 10th. So I get basically 5,000. So I have 5,000 divided by 1 times 1,000 is just 1,000. So when you do this division, you get 5. But we need two sig figs because they told us 
two significant figures in the given. So I need two significant figures at the end. So it has to be 5.0 kilometer. So that would be the answer in kilometers. So this chemistry conference, they're so cool, right? They, they're doing a 50 trillion angstrom race, but technically they're only running five, a 5K race, right? 5K stands for five kilometer. So 5.0 kilometer, that would be the answer in kilometer. Now we just got to find out what it is in miles. So now I'm going to take that 5.0 kilometer and figure out what it would be in miles. So let's look. It's a length conversion. So I'm going to go to my length and I see that the third one down, it says one kilometer equals 0.62137 miles. So that's the one I'm going to use. So times by the ratio, kilometer on the bottom, mile up top, MI is always mile. And one kilometer, so the one goes down here, 0.62137 goes up on top, 0.62137. The word kilometer cancels out, and you just multiply across. So five times 0.62137 is 3.11, we'll say it's 107, we'll say, we'll say 11 miles, but now... You just need the correct sig figs. There were two sig figs here, but now I need just two sig figs. So the three and the one will count. The one does not round up. So this would just be 3.1 miles. So that would be the answer here, 3.1 miles. So these chemists are running either a 5K race, 5.0 kilometers, or they're running 3.1 miles. But either way, it's cool. It's, it's a cool race. Anyway, so those are your two answers. Guys, I hope this helped a lot. If it did, click the like button. Tell us about it. Send us a comment. We'd love to hear from you guys. And if you want to get more questions, hit that subscribe button. We got tonny, uh, tonny. <laughs> we got tons coming your way. Anyway, I will see you guys all in the next question. Take care. Bye-bye.